Before we begin the pump installation process, we should wash our hands with soap and water or sterilize them with alcohol. In the first step, we determine the appropriate injection site from several suggested areas, including the abdomen on both sides of the navel, the upper arm from the back, the thighs, the lower back. When choosing the injection location, it is imperative to avoid anything that may rub against the pump, such as tight clothes or belts. Besides that, it should be free of wounds, pimples, and allergies. Moreover, when choosing the abdominal area, we should maintain a sufficient distance from the navel, at least 2 to 3 centimeters. Women who are pregnant should avoid the abdominal area completely, especially in their last months of pregnancy. After selecting the appropriate location for installation, we sterilize the area with alcohol and let it dry without using a towel or tissue. The next step is to open the pump base package. Remove the covering and place the pump base at the injection site. Now we open the canola pack as indicated on the packaging and push the canola assembly into the canola inserter until the canola assembly is in the cock position and you hear two click sounds. When we are certain that the inserter is held firmly in the cock position, we can now remove the protective sleeve. Hold the canola inserter and align the front end with the bottom of the protruding part of the pump base as you can see. Press on the back of the canola inserter until we hear a click securing it in place. Now we can simply install the canola in the injection site by pushing the two orange release buttons on both sides of the canola inserter at the same time. Then the canola will be inserted into the base and infusion site. Thereafter, we can release the inserter from the pump base by pressing the button on the lower end of the canola inserter, then lifting it up. Here is what the pump's base looks like once the canola is in, and a successful installation can be seen in this picture. If the inserted needle in the pump base like this, carefully remove it from the infusion site and dispose of it according to safety instructions. However, it is normal for the needle to remain in the inserter, so place the protective sleeve back onto the needle hub, then press firmly on the top of the inserter to eject the needle hub and dispose of it properly. Remove the insulin reservoir from the packaging. The reservoir is surrounded by a plastic part which allows us to fill it this is known as a fill adapter. Before using the reservoir, it is recommended that we grab the pull rod and pull it to the end. Then we push it back. Repeat this procedure three times to ensure that it works properly. Use the alcohol wipe to clean the insulin valve or cartridge. Attach it to the fill adapter. With the insulin vial on top, slowly pull the pull rod and draw insulin into the reservoir. Gently tap the side of the reservoir to encourage any air bubbles to move to the top of the reservoir. Push the pull rod slowly to eject the bubbles back into the cartridge and then slowly pull to draw more insulin into the reservoir. Repeat until the reservoir has enough insulin and there are no visible air bubbles. Remove the insulin vial from the fill adapter. Pull the two release tabs away from the reservoir to release the fill adapter. Remove the pull rod carefully by unscrewing it counterclockwise without pushing or pulling. And this is a very important note. Before we install the battery, this another caution, we should ensure that it is fully charged. Now assemble the pump and the reservoir in the correct position, then press both together until you hear a tick. If you are installing the pump for the first time, the main settings such as the time, date, etc. need to be adjusted. This will be demonstrated in a separate video. Continue with the settings wizard screens until you reach page 5, then click the end button. Next, from the home screen select actions, choose change the pump and press OK to continue. Enter the pump serial number which is printed on the pump. Now the PDA will attempt to connect with the pump. 
and you should see an animation indicating that the pump has been connected. Press Continue. Hold the pump in the position shown in the video and select Prime Reservoir. Then you should see an insulin drop on the reservoir needle tip, which means your pump is ready and a confirmation message will pop up asking for your assurance that there is an insulin drop. Select Yes. Here, Continue button will turn from gray to green. Select Continue. Now, attach the pump to the pump base. Fix it in the right orientation and push it from backside until you hear a tick. Here, you need to select whether to prime the cannula or escape. Caution! We prime the cannula only when changing the pump base, as we'll use a new cannula and need to prime it, but when changing the reservoir or battery only. Then select Escape as to not give an insulin dose that's not needed. For demonstration, select Escape. Connect to the pump. Animation will pop up. Now, the pump is ready and can be used. In the event that the insulin reservoir runs out of insulin, we should replace it with another. Also, the same procedure will apply when changing the battery. In the home screen, select Action, Change Reservoir, Battery, and an animation will pop up asking you to remove the pump from its base. Now, remove the pump from Pump Base and select Continue. Changing Battery, Reservoir Confirmation message will pop up. Select Yes. Connecting to the pump illustration will show up here. You will see the pump push rod is retracting to its original position. Caution! We must wait until the rod is fully retracted before separating the pump and the reservoir. Otherwise, this may cause serious pump damage. Hold the pump in this orientation where you can see the printing on the top side of the pump. Now we can safely separate the pump and the reservoir. Then dispose of the used reservoir as per safety instruction. Fill a new reservoir as explained earlier. Make sure the battery is fully charged. Assemble the battery correctly inside the reservoir. Assemble pump and reservoir. Select Continue. Hold the pump as such. Select Prime Reservoir and wait until we see an insulin drop. Select Yes in the confirmation message. Select Continue. Attach pump to its base. Following the same previous instructions, choose whether to prime the cannula or not according to the condition explained earlier. Select Finish. Please note, all the information in the video is a demonstration of how to install the Equal Insulin Pump Patch as part of the training system for a pump user with an emphasis on the fact that installation should only be handled by parties approved by Microtech Medical after consulting and being supervised by the specialist physician. Diabetes Cloud. Live with freedom.